Russian stock exchange and the damage to the cruiser, Moscow. If you want to know what the Kremlin media is writing about the war, subscribe to the YouTube channel Truth Cruiser, Moscow, was badly damaged as a result of an explosion on board military experts determine the causes of the fire on board the cruiser Moscow which caused serious damage to the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation, the Russian Ministry of Defense reported. According to the military department, the first fire broke out, which caused the ammunition explosion. The severity of the damage to the lead ship of the Atlant project, introduced in 1983, has not been determined. The cruiser crew, and there are over 500 people, were completely evacuated, according to the Ministry of National Defense. In September 2020, the planned repair of the cruiser, the main weapon of which is 16 P-1000 Vulcan missile launches, was completed. It is now the most serious ship in the Black Sea, retired Admiral Viktor Kravchenko. Former head of the Russian Navy's headquarters, said in April 2021, Article of the Kremlin Media. Trade on the Moscow Stock Exchange is in the red, the dollar 82 rubles, the euro 90. The Moscow Exchange Index fell by 1.27% to 2,496.62 points. The RTS Index, by 3.6% to 960.66 points. Shares of AFK Systema, minus 1%, Severstal, minus 0.9%, Gazprom, minus 0.8%, Svabank, minus 0.7%, Novatek, minus 0.7%, Rosneft, minus 0.6%, Gazprom Neft, minus 0.4%, Aeroflot, minus 0.2%, Lukoil, minus 0.1%. Shares of VTB, plus 0.3%, Sergut Neftegaz, plus 0.1%, and Interrao, plus 0.1%, increased. The dollar increased by 3.42% to 82.51 rubles, the euro to 89.98 rubles, plus 3.97%. The cost of June Brent futures is 107 United States dollars and 76 cents a barrel, minus 0.9% and plus 4% the day before. May WTI contracts are 103 United States dollars and 5 cents a barrel, minus 1.2% and plus 3.6% a day earlier, earlier. Since April 14th. Great Britain has imposed restrictions on steel imports from Russia, as well as the export of quantum technologies and high-tech materials to Russia. 